Hello everybody and welcome back to Cobblers Vlogs for another video where it's not going to be a happy one I'm afraid. The Cobblers have just been beaten in the Nen Derby by two goals to nil by rivals Peterborough United. They didn't really turn up so let's discuss what went wrong this afternoon for the Cobblers. It's the Posh v Cobblers match review. So yeah, let's start by talking about the game uh, for you know both sides obviously ended 2-0 to Peterborough. The first goal coming on 33 minutes through Nathan Thompson. The second goal coming on 80 minutes through Huddersfield Town learning Reese Brown. Um, the start of the game was scrappy, sort of first 10, 15 minutes, neither team really had a foothold in the game, it was sort of typical derby, um, and then Posh managed to get into the lead, um, just as Cobblers were starting to sort of put some sort of attacking, I guess, dominance on the game, but didn't really um, trouble, um, you know, the, the, the Posh goal too much, which was, you know, a shame really. Um, we didn't really see much fight, some, you know, much commitment, much anything from the Cobblers really, um, which was really, really poor. Um, can't really argue with it. Posh are a better team. Um, you could see that they were technically better. Their players are better. They had more time on the ball. They were moving the ball quicker than Cobblers. Um, Cobblers were giving it away in a sloppy fashion. And like they were saying in commentary, if you listen to it, um, it was a League Two performance from Northampton, and Posh, you know, played a League One game. Uh, quick passing, you know, looked sharp. Dembele was obviously a threat. Um, and Cobblers just didn't have that at all. Really. So yeah, moving on, I feel like Curl needs to sort of evolve the Cobblers into sort of more of a League One team. They weren't mean enough, they weren't physical enough, they weren't getting close enough to Posh. Um, obviously, I think Peterborough are a better side and they are going to be up there for contention this year. We can't really argue about that. Um, it'd be funny if they weren't because it's the sort of thing they do. They bottle things. They've, well, they've bottled it for the last 10 seasons, haven't they, promotion to the Championship? So they're probably going to bottle it again this season, let's be honest. But they are going to be challenging for it, um, even though they are probably going to bottle it, which is what we love to see. But the Cobblers need to start beating the Posh. 15 years it's been, uh, It's or it will be by the end of this year, that, um, the last time we beat them. So yeah, we really do need to get into them um, and try and win that reverse fixture. But we didn't really have the fight, the character or the quality to beat Posh today. Um, but despite the quality, the team performance is what is going to get you these wins. Um, and I think now Cobblers, I know we've played, you know, Hull, Bristol Rovers, Peterborough, three decent teams. Um, they've got a couple of, you know, Plymouth next who came up from League Two with them. Swindon who also come up with League Two with them. Who they both beat last year in League Two. Uh, really need to get those wins against those two sides, I think. Um, and need to focus on beating the teams around them to be able to stay in League One. But yeah, can't really complain about the defeat, I guess. Um, posh in terms of being posh being the better team. Um, but aside from that, you know, poor from the Cobblers. Um, more character needed, more passion, you know, play for the shirt a little bit more, I think is what's needed from the Cobblers. Um, and that's pretty much all I can say about that, really. So yeah, now we go to player ratings. I haven't got the line up in front of me, so I'm going to have to go off memory. Let's see how I do. Uh, Cobblers keeper Steve Arnold uh, made some decent saves, so we'll give him a 7. He made a couple of good saves. Um, actually, no, we'll give 7.5. Be a little bit nice to him. Uh, Harriman, forgot he was playing, uh, so we'll give him about a 6. Bolger, I think, is really poor. Um, really needs to sort himself out. Um, a man who definitely needs to uh, sort of, you know, play for the shirt a little, a lot more, really. So we'll give him a four, which I know it's harsh, but it's what he needs to uh, to make himself improve. Um, in terms of the rest of the defence, Horsfall again was, uh, you know, his average. We'll give him a five. The likes of Mills looked okay. We'll go for a six. Adams looked good in the, towards the end of the second half, so we'll give him a six as well. Um, Harry Smith was really poor at front again, so we'll give him a five. Uh, Danny Rose looked okay, so we'll give him a five. Um, Hoskins can have a, a five as well. He wasn't great. Corbeau, when he came on, wasn't great either. So it's another five. Fives and sixes all round, you know, poor, poor, poor from the Cobblers. Just that little bit of more fight, that little bit more character. And I think we could have uh, we could have held our own in that game. And I think a score draw would have been possible with some of the chances that we created if we just developed them a little bit more. Um, unfortunate that we couldn't get a draw or, you know, the win. Um, but again, Peter had the better team. And, you know, we can't really argue about that. Yeah, that's pretty much everything, you know, straight after the game, pretty depleted, pretty down, you know, not really what we wanted on a Saturday afternoon. Um, hopefully we'll be able to go back, get into stadiums and maybe fans would have had an influence on that game and it would have been a bit better and Cobblers would have maybe got something from it, but you never know. So let's get fans back in stadiums. Um, also, today's World Mental Health Day, so make sure you're all, you know, if you... If you have a problem, make sure you're talking to people. Um, make sure you're checking up on your mates. Don't ask them if, if they say they're fine. You know, make sure they are actually fine rather than, um, you know, just taking that for their word because people are suffering in silence and we do need to help people out. So yeah, World Mental Health Day, make sure you're checking up on your mates. Make sure you're talking to people uh, and our DMs are definitely very much open uh, to those of you 
that may be struggling and might want someone to talk to. So yeah, our DMs are open, our Twitter links are in the description. So if you ever need to talk to someone and want to feel listened to, please do get in touch. But yeah, that's uh, everything we've got for you. Um, make sure you go and check out FanHub as well. This video is made in partnership with them, the football app, which is coming soon, which rewards football fans for their loyalty. So make sure you go and check that one out. Join uh, early using the link in the description to get early rewards. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Really, really, really appreciate it if you could subscribe as well. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.